start from day one. There will be a circumference question on there. Formula which I will not give you tomorrow. C equals pi D. Or if you choose, you can use C equals 2 pi R. All right, either one's fine with me. I'm not going to give you that, though. And let's be honest here. You guys are in honors geometry. Probably not going to do this. Hey, here's a circle. The radius is 2. Can you guys find the circumference in terms of pi? Probably not going to do that, right? All right, maybe it might be something like, hey, I give you the circumference. Maybe I want the diameter. Maybe I want the radius. Maybe you need that value to continue on in the problem. But I can tell you it's probably not just going to be here's a radius, find circumference. But formula up to you. Day two, length of an arc. How long is an arc? Well, you can do it two different ways. You can do it if the angle is in radians. I use this formula, theta equals S over R. That's if your angle is in radians. So again, theta is your central angle, but in radians. S, arc length. R, radius length. Only can be used if the angle's in radians. What if your angle's in central angle is in degrees? I have a formula. L, arc length equals the measure of the arc in degrees, in degrees, over 360 times circumference, pi D. Neither formula will be given to you tomorrow. I will not ask a specific question that says, turn 80 degrees into radius. I'm not gonna ask you any questions to convert tomorrow. I'm not, but you gotta realize, if you're going into tomorrow, just knowing theta equals S over R, and I give you an arc length problem that's in degrees, you better know how to convert that if you're only going to remember that formula. Everyone understand what I'm saying there? I am not going to ask you to convert on a single question tomorrow. That's up to you if you need to. Speaking of converting, anybody taking the quiz in class? I will give you an actual formula sheet. Anybody taking it on formative remotely? It will be on the top of your formative test, the conversions. Okay, so I will give you those two right there. I'll give you that one, and I'll give you that one on the formative test. If you're taking it in class, like I said, I'll just give you the full reference sheet. But I will not ask a question tomorrow that says, take this radiance converted to degrees. But you may have to if you only want to remember one of these arc length formulas. All right, moving on. We went over a day of, uh, I think there was four theorems on chord central angles and radi radii. Here's what I'm talking about. Let's see if anybody knows. Let me start out with this. Here's a chord. Here's a chord. Both chords are, move that center. Both chords are seven units away from the center. What do I know about the chords? Chords are congruent because they are equidistant from the center. Okay. Also in reverse, and this is just one theorem of the four. In reverse, if I give you the chords are congruent, that must mean they're equidistant from the center and their arcs are congruent. All right. So theorems on chord, central angles, and radii. I think we did two days of that. One day was the basic stuff, the facts, and then day two was the law of science questions and the proofs. All right. Uh, inscribed angles, which we did yesterday, and you guys will practice today. Somehow we'll show up there tomorrow. And there will be a clock question on there. You did a clock question on the radians day. I think it was page nine in your packet. Uh, so, for instance, uh, Anthony, give me your favorite time of the day. Two. Two o'clock. You got it. So if I ask you guys, what is the length of an arc 
as the hour hand moves from 12 to 2? What's the length of an arc from 12 to 2? Are we going to be able to figure that out tomorrow? You did say Grimman's over one question on a project that, that used very time was six degrees. Okay, I'm not going to give you that hint tomorrow. I know, but will that still apply? Yes, it does, yeah. And Sophia just said, hey, one minute equals six degrees. I'm not going to remind you of that tomorrow either. Okay, I'm not going to remind you of that. So how many degrees is it from 12 to 2? 50. How many? 10. Oh, boy. 60. How many? 60 minutes from 12 to 2. 60 degrees. It's 10 how many? minutes. How many, how many? It's 10 minutes. Every minute is 6 degrees. So it's... That forms a 60 degree angle as you go from 12 to two, right? Okay, so now this is what I was talking about before. What formula are you gonna remember? Right now it's in degrees. So are you gonna remember L equals 60 over 360 times, I'm sure I'll give you the length of the hour hand so you can plug that in for D, but, or for, for R or multiply it by two to get to D. Or are you gonna remember, if you remember theta equals S over R, you can't plug 60 in, you gotta convert it and plug that in for theta. Okay, so there will be a clock question on there tomorrow. Again, I am not gonna give you this little handy fact on the test. All right, anything, uh, it's 26.7 questions, and yes, there will be one proof at the end. We've done four proofs so far. The proof on the quiz will, have, will be nothing different than what I've had to do so far on those four. So be prepared to either prove triangles congruent using circle facts or CPCTC at the end, where you still have to prove the triangles congruent. Okay, so be prepared for the last proof on the quiz. Anything in particular you want to go over right now? I will be after school today. Uh, I'm only going to do about a half hour review. All right, we don't need to go the full till 3 o'clock. There's no need to. So 2.15 to 2.45 today and tomorrow if you want to review. Also up on classroom because I know some of you guys like practice questions. I couldn't, you know, I don't have too much here for this first quiz because there's not that much on there, but I did put, let's see, honors geometry, classwork. Under unit 10, I did put circle quiz number one practice. And there are three worksheets to practice from. One is inscribed angles, one is arc length, and one is circumference. I can't stress this enough. This isn't everything on the quiz. Okay, as you guys could see, this is only three topics out of however many I just put up there. So just don't think, oh, I practiced some problems from each of them, I'm good to go. This is not the whole quiz. This is just some decent stuff that I could find that was challenging. Okay, because you guys know I'm going to come strong with this. We should also have the difference between inscribed angle and central angle. Oh, yeah. Yep. And how to find them. How to find a central angle. How do you find an inscribed angle? Central angle is equal to its arc measure. Inscribed angle is half its arc measure. Any other questions before I let you go? You know, especially you guys at home because you guys will be taking it tomorrow. Questions at all? Okay, so what you guys are going to do right now, you're going to go to the inscribed angle homework. It's due tomorrow. Don't hand it in. I'm not going to look for it at all today. It's just like a regular assignment due tomorrow by 1 o'clock like usual. You guys that will be in class tomorrow can show me in class tomorrow. You guys will be at home. Submit it on Google Classroom just like always. Uh, so you guys got on uh, problem 12 uh, through 30 even. 12 through 30 even. I'll be here if you uh, want to ask any questions. If one of the problems is a little uh, challenging, you need some help. Nothing wrong with that. Just let me know. If you finish early, take a look at your notes, your homework, maybe some of the practice questions I put up on class.